Now, in Zimbabwe, there are more reports of soldiers beating protesters. That is despite a promise by President Emerson Mnangagwa to investigate a security service crackdown on anti-government demonstrators. Well, I'm delighted to say we can speak to the leader of the opposition at Movement for Democratic Change, Nelson Chamisa. He joins us live, as you can see, from the capital, Harare. Thanks so much for being with us on the programme. Given the crackdown and the level of violence we've seen in Zimbabwe over the past few days, do you still want your supporters out on the streets demonstrating? Well, I must say uh, that uh, from the beginning, uh, it was not the MDC supporters who were demonstrating. The people who were demonstrating were citizens. The people of Zimbabwe who were triggered into demonstration and into demonstrating by the conduct of Mr. Monangagwa, by unilaterally announcing a hike in the prices of fuel by 150%. So it was not the MDC. It has not been the MDC. The MDC has always been a very peaceful organization that stands for demonstrations upon notice and upon indicating our intentions for demonstrating. This was a trade union effort, a citizen's effort, and it had the support of all the Zimbabweans. Do you support the president's investigation into the security forces and the level of violence that's been carried out on those protesters? He has said, quote, heads will roll. Well, uh, the words are pretty, but the deeds are ugly. It's very easy that uh, Mr. Mnangagwa seems to be indicating left, but turning right. He's inconsistent. He says that he's going to investigate, but he can't investigate himself. The people who did what they did were doing that in the name of Mr. Mnangagwa, and he must be able to then indicate uh, that uh, uh, this is what has already happened, because he knows the people were on duty, the people who did what they did. Right now on the streets, people People are not in happiness, people are not in peace, there is a lot of internal displacement of persons, people are being dragged out of their homes, being, people are being beaten, brutalized, terrorized, there is terror and fear all over and citizens are not in peace, again having ammunition, live ammunition against ordinary citizens. That is unacceptable and that goes against the tenets of democracy. Sure, and the president says he is going to investigate that, as I say, he says heads will roll. He also said the time is now right for national dialogue. Are you willing to be involved in that for the sake of Zimbabwe? We have always said dialogue is very important. As you are aware, we had a disputed election on the 30th of July. The election result that was announced is not what the people voted for. People voted for change, but they cheated. And we said that because there's a legitimate problem, there is need for us to get together dialogue. It takes dialogue to build a nation. It takes dialogue to move things forward. And we've always called for dialogue, but we did not have any audience because they were not willing to dialogue. It takes two to tango. We are committed to dialogue. We want dialogue based on an agenda, not just power games, not just power you know, maps or power deals, but we want to make sure that we have reforms in a comprehensive manner. We have nation building, peace building, national healing, because our country has been tormented for a long time. So you are willing years to, to meet the president and talk to him years of discontent. and his colleagues. You're willing to actually talk to them. Are you willing to compromise on anything? Because it takes two to talk, two to tango and two to compromise. Of course, there has to be sincerity, there has to be genuineness, there has to be willingness to communicate. We are willing to compromise in the interest of the country, but we can't compromise on the fundamentals. We can't compromise on the factual issues. We have to compromise on things that move the country forward. Of course, that is the subject of the substance of the, of the dialogue. But dialogue is important. We need to make sure we transition from the old system to a new system. Mr. Mnangagwa has failed to be that new system, and we need all Zimbabweans, inclusive dialogue, for us to be able to move forward. Nelson Chamisa, really good to talk to you. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us there from Harare.